Welcome back to the News at Noon. We've got our very special nutritionist friend, Kelly from RMH. Thank you so much for joining us, first Thank of all, you. this afternoon. It's the holiday season, so everyone typically goes overboard in terms of eating, in terms of gouging themselves with food and drink, lots of calories. But you have a special treat for us today that's low in calories and something that you may not think to put in brownies, of all things. Tell us a little bit about it. Exactly. Okay, so typically your brownies are going to call for an egg, oil, things like that. <clears throat> when I first was um, proposed with this, um, I thought there's no way you can have brownies and black beans in the same combination. You're talking like black beans as in like a Mexican thing, like a black exactly. beans, pinto beans type thing. Right. Okay. So typically you just add a can of black beans and the brownie mix. So I went a step further and I took out the sauce from the black beans. Why'd you take it out? Well, it's a little more saltier and I thought maybe add a little sweeter taste on top of it. So I'm going to substitute with applesauce. Okay. And now the applesauce is supposed to be your liquid then since you took the sauce from the beans out. Right. Okay. Right. So if we put it in here into our into our brownie mix that right. typically calls for oil and all the other good stuff, eggs and butter, is it really going to hold? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. So this comes out to be, I measured out, it's about a half a cup that comes from the brownie. So that's how I knew how much to substitute with the applesauce. Great idea. So okay. equal substitution there. So if you want to go ahead and put the applesauce in there, this was easy. It's a half a cup, okay. little cup. Can you use any kind of applesauce that you want? Does it have to be sweetened, unsweetened? Yeah, you can do unsweetened. Okay, cool. No sugar added type thing. So Absolutely. you just pour it into the bowl yeah. with your mix that's typically used with eggs and oil and all of that stuff right. like we said. And then go ahead and start stirring. All right. Because when I was first doing this, I thought this isn't going to, you know, get fully saturated and stuff. Okay. But it, it, it doesn't really look like it is. It's kind of just start staying adding together. This in. Oh, so you have to add the beans together with. Well, you don't have to. It just really, it just takes a little time and stuff, but it does. It all stirs up. So I now, promise you. black beans, you wouldn't expect to put black beans into a brownie mix. What's the reaction that you typically get? And I mean, do people know that there are black beans in here? No, I don't tell them. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because psychologically, you would think this is going to be disgusting. No one in my house had any idea that I was doing this. And so I first, you know, told people, they're like, well, what did you do to it? And I said, well, nothing. <laughs> and I said, this is just the Giardelli brownie mix, double chocolate to really, you know, get people excited about it. And they ate it and thought, this is really good. Wow. And yeah, it's starting to come together now. Yeah. And you just, I guess, add more beans and it gives it a little bit more thickness. But when you're done stirring and when you're done putting it all together, this is what it looks like in the final product. Right. Right. Okay. It's very fudgy. Go ahead. All right. Can we try it? it? Yes, absolutely. All right. Let's see. And the... Black beans, it actually comes across like it's chocolate, chocolate chips, chips because you don't taste it. This is incredible. Yeah, I know. Wow, Kelly, I am, I'm impressed right now. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. What a great idea, though. What a great way to keep people healthy, especially at the holiday season. Kelly, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. If you want more information, you can take a look at our screen right now. You can make an appointment with Kelly. She's a registered dietitian. You can give her a call right here on your screen, 540 433 Four, three, four, four. And for the rest of us, we're going to take one last look at weather. Tracy's got.